plumper sense the smell of all stinks in this. The mordor of all vowels to make a bowl of turds that defects hate on all who occupy against the stench of the rot of the rat at the root of the death rattle of ruin oil ragoon, the shit ass son of that car rector assassin, wretch heart knocks on the door like death, who am bitch to power on the flaming red body of hell in Gahuggin Dickless, the first of meanie witch horns and taught that lame brain gonzo how to knife the people in the buck. These are the heads of the swine corpse against our shakubai. There who give the cops who beat you their clubs, their gun cells all, from gang wretch to snitch Romney, and in fact, so is Obama, the sad drip of the cap puddless potty, who while you and yours were singing your lang zine, was signing the NDAA and disappearing your liberty. You're in fat shit's America now. You're a heeb without habeas, a carnal without corpus. You can be harassed for the crumb of being part of a terrorist plot. And he's departed 400,000 people so that the statue hasn't stopped weeping down cheeks and all over Emma's Lazarusian poem since the start of the year. Nothing could be worse than a hearse of humane verses all in mourning, too. So it's am nasty to an end, this cartoon. And where's Moses to show for it to? It's amniotic destuning, the tear of your ear off, the tumult of your scorn. Ha! Shem will strike you lightning fast. You won't even know what hate you. You'll be fatally down for the count, but at the sound of ten, your hand will become a hundred with a manifest talking distributing again. Up and at him, occupiers. Once dead ducks, now Phoenix is on fire, transflaming ovary thang to me in the womb of tomorrow into a whole new bowl game where the thrallest to feel is when throwing out the fierce bull at the start of God. For we've taken refuse at lost and gone to the fear end of occupy. Kayipi Kaye. We, who've tamtumed and zimzumed, and now are squibbling everywhere to spring the checkmates of the world from the jail, the whimper sentence to life without parole.